Good evening. Good evening. Welcome. Welcome back. Uh, tonight is uh, our passport report, which is always such a night that I love because we have such a great time at camp and I uh, love for you to be able to hear about that because not all of you can go with us. Um, so we have some youngins coming up going to tell us what they did at camp and then we'll also have a picture show as Wendell likes to call it with some music and uh, then we have some delicious food for you to enjoy and thank you for all of those that brought some ice cream and goodies to go along with the Roma's food. Um, but if you have noticed on our shirts, on the back of our shirts, our theme this year was revolution. And it has been my favorite theme so far. Really awesome week of camp and a great message that these kids heard. And they're going to tell you about it. So we'll get started and I'll say a word of prayer and then they'll come on up here and do their thing. So if you would, please pray with me. Heavenly Father, we thank you for another wonderful day of worship that we have had. We thank you for this time that we have together. I thank you for each and every person here, and especially our youth, and how awesome they are. And we are so grateful for the week of camp that we have had, all that we have learned, all that we have heard. And um, we just ask your blessings on tonight as the kids speak and the food. May you bless it, Lord, and all the many people who made it. And again, we thank you for your love, and may we show it to everyone. In your name we pray. Amen. As Nikki said, our theme this week, was, um, not this week, but at camp was revolution. And each day we had like a theme word and it was how we can actively partake in God's revolution he has for us. And on day one, the word was flip. And um, our verse of the day was, now is the time. Here comes God's kingdom. Change your hearts and lives and, the tr and trust the good news. Mark 1:15. And um, to start off Bible study, we all received a picture, a just a black and white still photo. And um, there were all different scenarios. Like we had one of a girl with a candle in like a community. And then they some had like a person on a playground and in all these different situations. And we were to make two different stories, like a positive story and kind of like a negative story and how you know, we can flip that negative story into a positive story. And just by looking at the photo, you can't always get the whole story. You have to sometimes flip it and kind of look for the positive within that picture. And um, I'm just going to read a little thing that was in our passport. God reveals God's revolution when we look through Jesus' eyes to truly see people in the environment that surrounds us. God is nudging us to move outside our comfort zone and bring our whole selves today. God is encouraging us to see others as fellow beloved children of God. God, sees, God is calling us to see others in need and let their pains call us to action. And again, like all day today we're talking about flip and how, you know, it's sometimes it's easy to dwell on the negative. But we kind of have to flip that to see the positive or flip a situation where we're uncomfortable and just all different things to kind of partake in God's revolution by not really dwelling on the negative, but looking for the good in people and seeing people as God's children and not as their differences. So that was day one. And what I did not mention about this year's camp is that it was a little different. We usually go to Passport Missions. Um, all the camps have the same theme and Bible studies. But um, instead of all of our kids going to a mission site, we went to Passport Choices. And they got to choose what they did during the day. Some could go to a mission site or some could go to classes and learn um, some different things, different ways to look at themselves in the world. So one of them was skin deep. So they're going to tell the, tell you all about that. 
During Skin Deep, one day we went to the grocery store and we were given $20 to feed a group of about 12 to 13. And we competed with two other groups to see who could find the healthiest and the cheapest snack. And we made turkey sandwiches and bananas. And then the other days we went on talk walks with a different person that our leader had selected for us. And we walked 15 minutes around the campus and got to learn all about them and what their perspective about everything was. Um, I had a great time at Passport and I learned a lot. And well, thank y'all for letting us go and supporting us. And I learned a lot in my choices group and I became a lot closer to God that week. Thank you for letting us go and in our choices group, um, we became a lot closer to God and others in our group, and we also learned about ourselves. Um, I just want to say thank you for allowing us to go on this um, trip, <laughs> and um, thank you everyone who gave us stock donation, and we had a really great time, so thank you. Um, on day two, our theme word was stand, and um, when, we were, when we were told about stand, we were all told, you know, to stand together in God's re revolution, and that goes towards the theme, um, so that way we won't stand alone, and we, not only do we stand with our family stuff, we also stand with our brothers and sisters in Christ. Um, the verse that day was, stay awake. Stand firm in your faith, be brave, be strong. And that comes from 1 Corinthians 16, 13. In Bible study that day, we did like an activity where we, there were several sheets of paper and it had like a famous person on there. Like I remember one of them was Dr. King. And they all, we all would read about them and we had yarn and we'd get in a circle and read and then you'd toss the yarn to someone else. And at the very end, all these people had stood together and were somehow connected. So it made like one big like, tangled thing with the yarn but it was really neat to see and do um we were encouraged in bible study to stand for others and we were also encouraged a lot to th really think about someone who stands for you and someone that you stand for um and i had a great trip it was my last passport but um I grew very close to some people in my youth group that I used to not be as close to, and I definitely grew closer to God. And I want to say thank you to everyone who helped support us and made it possible for us to go, and for people who prayed for us while we were gone, and people who bought stock from us. And um, I was in a mission group with Allie and Cammie, so y'all can come up here and talk about it. And the Stewarts were with us, Kenzie and Holly, but they're not here, obviously, but they were in our mission site with us, too. Okay, so for our, um, like, Passport Choice, we got to do mission work, and we were taken to a place called uh, Peace Haven, and it was a nonprofit for um, people with disabilities, and we were there, for, I mean, we worked all four days there, and it was really eye-opening just to see, you know, like, all the people there, and, like, and to learn to, like, not talk to, you know, the person with the disability, but talk through it and really interact with the, the person themselves and not be just interacting with the disability. But we, what did we do? We pulled weeds one day. Yeah, we were in greenhouses, washed cars. I washed a dog. Um, we played, yeah, bingo, board games, just fun stuff like that. And, had a lot of fun with them. Yeah, we painted signs for their garden, but it was a really neat place and it was a lot of fun. So, um, thank you for all of your donations and thank you for supporting us going. Had fun.
Okay, the theme of day four was speak and how we can use our voice in numerous ways to share God's love. Uh, the verse of, it, of the day was Ephesians 4.15 saying, Instead, by speaking the truth with love, let us grow in every way into Christ. And part of the morning devotion was like thinking of some of our favorite songs and like how music can really like allow you to like hear what God wants you to say. And one of the activities we did in Bible study on day four was we had to come up with a short phrase with a small group of people in our Bible study. And you would like all list your ideas of things that you think this world needs. And then you would come up with like a three or four word phrase that you can remember to like always keep with you. And then we made a declaration stating how we will use our voice to speak up for others. And this theme allowed God to show me that we will, that we need to speak up and use our voices so that others can feel his love like me and all of us do. And thank you for all of your donations and support for this week. Okay. Uh we went to Passport Missions, and I was in the group Huddle Up, which was mainly working on teamwork and and teaching others the right way to do stuff. The first couple of days, we learned games, and towards the end, we would go to other groups and then tell, teach them, and then teach the concept, what you do, just all about that so thank you for supporting us on day five our verse our verse was in the same way faith is dead when it doesn't result in faithful activity james two seventeen. our word of the day was act and in our bible study group we had we learned different ways that we could act back at home and in school and at church Hello, I'm Bradley. Uh, I go to Pleasant Valley Church, Baptist Church. It's a little white church right down the road. Uh, the youth invited me to go with them to Passport this year, and I had a really good time. Uh, my choice was five things, and the main goal was to learn five things each day. Uh, it was mainly to be, uh, learn how to become self-supportive and how to be an adult. And you learned anything from uh, learning manners, uh, to changing oil on a car, to changing a tire, and uh, what else did we do? Uh, we learned how to do laundry also. So it was basically learning how to be an adult, and because we don't really get taught that in school. So uh, that's about it. Thank you for allowing me to go. <laughs> Again, thank you for your support and prayers, and good job, youth. I know y'all are really nervous getting out there talking, but y'all did a great job. So, um, yeah, thanks. Well, I blessed the food at the beginning, so let's eat. <laughs> 